New at six, two years after a Hollywood woman says she was sexually assaulted in the parking garage of the Seminole Hard Rock Casino, she's facing her accused attacker in a Broward County courtroom. The defendant claims what happened was consensual. The jury will decide his guilt or innocence based on explicit surveillance video. CBS 4's Joe Murray is following the case. She has more from the courthouse in Fort Lauderdale. Joan? Well, the jury has a lot to consider with this surveillance video. Mainly, did this defendant go too far? This is a case about a sexual battery committed under a special circumstance. Much of what happened between this woman and James Emilio, the man on trial for sexually assaulting her, is captured on surveillance. But a jury has to decide if Emilio went over the line. Give James Emilio any indication that you are sexually interested in him? No. The woman says she met Emilio, a bartender, two summers ago through a mutual friend. After beers and shots, she went with Emilio to the Hard Rock Casino, had a drink, but does not remember anything else until she woke up the next morning in the parking garage swarming with police. I was really out of it um, and kind of disoriented and confused. She was taken to a sexual assault treatment center. They gave me other clothing. Breaking down, reliving the ordeal. Reaches out, grabs him, holds him, kisses him. But Emilio is claiming nothing was forced. Their surveillance of the two leaving the casino, walking hand in hand, hugging at the elevator, embracing and kissing when the door is shut, and then spending several passionate minutes together in the hallway. Mr. Emilio is here on trial simply for whether or not he and Miss Bishop engage in consens consensual sexual conduct. But prosecutors say this is not consensual. The woman passed out, Emilio taking explicit cell phone pictures. In his own words, you hear Emilio talking about the pictures with investigators. Think you took some of the inappropriate pictures of her? No, no, I don't think I did. The case is really testing the boundaries of what is considered sexual consent and the stakes are high if convicted Emilio is facing up to 30 years in prison we expect to have a verdict tomorrow and we'll bring it to you as soon as it happens in Fort Lauderdale Joan Murray CBS 4 News